Hey everybody and welcome back. This is Josh SDH and we're in our Minecraft single player commands and world edit tutorial. And this is actually our first real episode other than the install episode. So if you haven't installed it yet, you're going to want to do that because otherwise you're just going to be following along and not able to have any of the fun yourself. So go ahead and look at that last video if you want to learn how to install. So once you have single player commands and world edit installed, and then again remember I have too many items installed as well as the uh, world edit GUI, um, or I think they actually call it the CUI, uh, once you have all those in, you'll be ready to go. So before we can actually do any world editing, we need to show you how to kind of move around, and we're going to use some of the single player command features to do that. And the first one, you just saw an example, and that's flying. Now it's super easy to fly. Uh, if you hit T to bring up your talk window, you can just type in fly or slash fly, and I probably use the slashes just because I'm most used to that, um, to turn it on and off. And so now I've turned flying off, so when I jump, I just jump. But when I turn flying on, I will actually take to the sky like Superman. Uh, and you can see I'm moving kind of slow. So one of the features of fly that's kind of fun is you can actually type slash fly and then a value, and that value will be your speed. By default, it's one. Uh, if you set your speed a different way, I think your flying takes that speed too, so it makes it kind of convenient. But so for example, if I want to do slash fly, or just fly, and five, I'll now fly much faster, as you can see. Um, but I don't really need to go that fast. Actually, 5 is a great editing speed, and so when I set my speed, that's typically where I'll go. So now let's turn flying off. And I fall. And it took some damage. So flying, uh, if you don't do it right, you can get, take some damage. Now, there's an easy way to cheat the system. Uh, as you can see, I'm already playing easy as it is. And during what I'm building, I don't really want to deal with mobs, uh, so typically I'll build an easy. Uh, but if I want to make sure I get no damage, I can just type damage. And you'll see damage is now turned off. So if I fly and fall, nothing's going to happen. Uh, I won't drown, I won't burn in lava. Uh, I'll still get the burning animation, but uh, other than that, I'm good to go. You can even do fire damage, and that will actually stop the burning animation once you're out of the fire. So that's nice, you don't stay on fire if you turn off fire damage. Um, so that was flying, but what if you just want to move around really fast? Well, it's just as easy. You're just going to type set speed and the value. In this case, again, 5 is a good uh, speed. Uh, it's nice to be able to move around at that speed. And so you can see I'm going real fast, and, and things are going pretty well. I can cover a lot of land that way, and pretty quickly. Although, when I'm moving that fast, I'd like to be able to maybe jump a little higher, because I'm still only jumping one block. So you guessed it, set jump. So I just set my jump to 5, which is going to be really high. Want to see how high? There you go. And so with that and the speed, I can cover a lot of ground pretty quickly and see some great features in this world as generated, or as it generates around me. That's kind of cool. But what if I get lost in all these travels and I really want to get back to that place that was important to me, whether it was a spawn point or a dungeon entrance perhaps? Well, there's a couple things I can do. One, I can set these points as I'm exploring the world. And I'll set this little cave here. It's kind of fun. So what I'm going to do is just type slash set cave. So I just named a location, this is cave, and I've set it, and you'll see that it says waypoint cave set. Now to get to any waypoint, I just type go to and the name of the waypoint. Oops, got to make sure there's a space in there. And it will teleport you there. And so it's, I didn't move because this is where I set it, but that place where I just was, I called hut. So I'll go to there. Boom. And so there you go. Uh, I've teleported myself back to where I was, and I'm actually back in my hut area. And you're probably going, well, why is there no hut? Well, we're going to build one as part of this tutorial with some awesome world editing. Uh, the other thing that you might want to do, and, and to get to uh, see what points you have, is you can do slash list waypoints, and that will show you how to get to the ones that you've already labeled. So let me show you that. And so you can see right now I have Harbor Lake, Spawn, Volcano, Desert, Mesas, Hut, Ocean, and Cave. And so if I want to go to any of those locations instantly, I just type in go to, and then the name, and then I'm there. It makes it really convenient to travel around as you're building different features. Maybe you're working on different rooms and you want to bounce around. That way you don't have to travel there. You can just instantly get to those places you're trying to get to. So that was fly, set speed, set jump, set, go to, and damage. And those are the single player commands that I use most often. 
Tomorrow we'll actually go over how do you start using World Edit. We'll show you how to select regions and blocks, how to change them, and how to even build a quick hut in a few easy steps. So tune in then and have a good one. See ya!